If you thought the desert could not feed you lunch, think again. Arava is not just a desert. Arava is hot, dry and inhospitable. One of the most forbidding area on the planet Earth. Although the area is a desert, it is far from being empty and desolate. Almost every visitor who arrives in Arava asks himself, who are these crazy people that have built their lives in the middle of the desert? What is growing in hundreds of greenhouses and net houses? There is use of highly computerized drip irrigation system to make sure that there is effective use of every drop of water that is available. And uh, you remember I said there is scarcity of water and so to make sure that uh, the, 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 there is thriving in agriculture, there is need to make use of uh, the ditches and the scarce water we have. Many countries in the world, a desert is seen as a burden. But in Israel, the desert is turned into a resource through sophisticated agrotechnology. What has made Israel to be where it is in agriculture? is the fact that they believe in this say, without hard work, nothing grows but weeds. Anything that we find our hands doing, when we employ hard work, we shall succeed. Because here in Israel, farmers really work. They work from morning to evening. They have devoted themselves, they, have, they view farming as a business. ICAT has existed for over two decades in the heart of Arava Desert with an aim of sharing the Arava technology to students from all over the world. It enrolls over 1,000 students every year. The, the learning experience has been uh, awesome. What I mean is uh, we have had a chance to learn practical skills in the farm, doing end-to-end uh, -end work in the farm and getting to know what it really takes to get the production of uh, agricultural products from the ground up to the market level. Israel is amazing. ICAT has given us this opportunity to be here and to study. And uh, all the credits and uh, uh, gratitude goes back to ICAT. <laughs>